I'm, I'm feeling like a million dollars. <laughs> very, very happy, very relieved to get this over, put closure to it. But let's go back to the very beginning when you were originally arrested and then convicted of this robbery. What was going through your head then? Well, that was quite some time ago. So what was going through my head then was I was probably <laughs> totally disgusted because I was being wrongfully accused and, you know, I can't really say exactly because it's been so long. I'm just really grateful that this is ending and we're putting closure to that chapter of my life. It's time to move forward. And I know you're happy there is this new law that is allowing for this and you're getting some restitution as a result. Talk to me about the money that you've just been awarded. Um, it's a beautiful thing, you know. I can make up for some of the things I've lost out on in life because of the wrongful incarceration and, um, you know, it, it will help me get started and put my future in perspective. Earlier you were talking about this is about your mom. You know, your mom's 90, you said? Yes. Talk to me about how it feels to be able to go home to her. It feels unbelievably uh, gratifying. Uh, this woman and the rest of my family, my brothers and sisters, went through a living hell because of what happened. And uh, now they get a chance to put closure, you know, to that, you know, nightmare and move forward with their lives and have some peace in their life, you know. And, and, and it's a, a really good thing. And, and I'm very grateful, you know, God is good. I hope, uh, you know, this is a, a, a landmark and that the law is going to take a closer look at what they're doing when they sentence people and they're giving life sentences out to people like it's uh, going out of style. I, I, I think there should be a big, big look at what's going on with the justice system and how they're handing out all these stiff penalties to people. You know, it's, it's uh, travesties of justice. You don't get anything back after they happen. When, that, when it happens, you know, afterwards, you know, I'm grateful now, but for the, for the years that I suffered and my family suffered and all the other people that have been wrongfully convicted, you know, it's just uh, horrific that things like that can happen in life. And I don't think there's even close to an adequate response to what's going on with this type of stuff. So there needs to be a big, big change in how everything like this is approached. So this is the start to your new chapter. What are you going to do right now? Right now, I'm going to uh, come back down to earth from all the, you know, the bad that's happened and, and start over on, a, you know, start on the good foot and go from there.